Okay, that's uh, that's Lamento right now. Yep. Just everything flying at you. Uh oh. Well, we got the Bill Gates tag. And Leo Ban. So we're gonna go to the Lucino. Where? where where's Brown going for the Olimar? Oh, that was. So what did M Leo Ban mean? Give me the answers, man. He's probably just calling it bandwagon. He's probably not confident enough. Hmm. Or maybe he's gonna do it after. Like he wins game one, he's just gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go Ike now." You're right. But we'll just have to see how this goes. Ingen who would try to try to do a quick shield breaker, but not gonna hit. Kiko now just trying to find a way to get through this wall of Pikmin. Oh, Down throw, fair. Yep. Two pick. Downers to get the white off of him. He can land with a lot of downers, actually. Oh my goodness, that shield. Just barely going to recover, so we're going to get a pretty decent punish. So just a down throw. But Kikaman already at 90 from taking all these uh, this Pikmin damage. Oh, couple uppers. Not really going to do it just yet. And clank with the with the Pikmin. Oh, the counter. Very questionable to see. Oh, oh my goodness. It, see ya. Stab him. Get him <laughs> out of here. Break him. See ya. Stab through the soul. Get the shield break. Oh my goodness. He came in with a bit of a lead. Oh, oh floor throw. Not really going to do it just yet. White is now attached. Bro, just tell Just tell him. Let me commentate this blast. Oh, <sighs> what? what? Bro, keep him in. Up Fine. All right. Oh. CJ, you want to commentate? All right. I got to go do a match because Jump City's being mean. All right. Jump City just kind of rushed him off. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's just hopping again. Man, I knew I was gonna get called too. Yeah, he 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 did call that he was gonna. He did say he was gonna get called for his match. Nice. Right, so now we're getting right into it, Rich Brown. Actually, it's pretty much even. Kind of even. Well, there is another questionable counter. Gets punished for it. There's the down throw. Not really gonna do much just yet. Rich Brown just focusing on stage control, just gonna try and force Kiko Min to do something a little bit foolish so that he gets grabbed. Or just walks right into his forward smash. Extremely quick. Oh, and another shield break! See ya. So now working from behind. Very scary situation here for Rich Brown. Getting your shield broken twice definitely messes with your psyche a little bit. You start questioning um, your decisions, but he is a seasoned veteran, I guess you can say. Definitely not a stranger to adjusting mid set. A couple side views. It's going to tack on a little bit more damage. Kiko been going for it all. Smash, not really gonna do it just yet. Couple up airs there, just catch them there on the platform. Still not gonna be enough. Kikoman throwing out another shield breaker, just trying to get him to back off as there's another forwarder there. And that is gonna take the stock. 56%, 69%. Nice. Quick dash attack, Rich Brown with double purple able to throw it and get him to back off the ledge there giving him a safer entry as another shield break just so quick with these re reversals off the platforms corner pikmin there that was down tilt leading into the forwarder there oh another shield breaker getting a little bit too antsy here wanted another actually it looked like he wanted another runoff like b reversal shield breaker Possibly misinput. Maybe got a little bit too eager. Definitely gets a little bit too confident there in the situation. Now we're just watching. Waiting to see. There's there's a short hop Nair. The forward air trying to chase him down. But able to go right above him. Another up air. Oh my god. This is so close. Throw out some purple back airs there. There's a forward air. No, got a little bit too ambitious. But the down smash not gonna do it just yet. So close. Got him at the ledge. What's the play here? The forward air. 
attack a little bit more. Setting up for another back air. Is, once again, just gets hit with another Pikmin. Up to it, just going to get rid of that yellow. The red going to come into play, and that is going to do it. Rich Brown taking game one. A nail-biter. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Sorry. You, you look upset. Um, I saw Arrow lose. Oh, to yeah. To Falco, so... That'll make you upset. Yeah, that'll, that'll hurt. But anyways, yeah, Arrow lost to Falco if you're in the chat season. Oh. Um, anyways. Yeah. Of course, who's not losing is Rich Brown. He's currently 1-0 over at Kiko, man. Yeah, I was, that was actually a very close game one. Yeah, I wanted to be Kiko, man, like the sauce? He did break his shield twice. That's kind of saucy, but I was, I was wondering with the soy sauce brand. But anyways, that's a, that's a topic for another time. It's not important anyway. What? Let's go into it right What's up now. What's with you and food references today? <laughs> yeah, I had a few. Oh, my God. You got to calm down, Vance. I like, I'm really enjoying to see how Kikoman is moving, honestly. Dude. He's utilizing that movement to kind of move around all the more. Oh that, my goodness. Oh, that was so close to it. The fact <laughs> that Rich Brown was at the corner, dude, he was either going to he was gonna get a shield or parry. Yeah. And of course, that being the latter, man, he had to parry or at least able to get rolled away. I know, Kiko has been doing so well with his, like, beer versus with shield, with shield breaker. This is like, every time he's, like, turning his back, it just seems like he, he just has everything covered. Ooh, oh, quarter. oh, my goodness, still alive. Oh, and comes back down with an aggressive down air to take the approach, <laughs> man. I kind of liked how he went there because he had that situation, Kiko Man was definitely up in the air to try to meet him with an aerial. Down so sometimes the fair? best, no. the best offense, the best defense is a good offense for Richmond in that situation. Oh, the it's counter's still not going to be enough though. MB Hop looking for a situation there. I Yo, love it. Yeah. Finding the back air. MB Hops do allow you to go for tomahawk grabs or just going for forward airs or even go, just go for a dash tag in that situation or just jabs. The fact that Rich Brown kind of kept the cards Ooh. shuffled there, Kiko Man had a hard time, but nearly tying it up 0% zero, zero and even stocks. Up no, no stuck. Uh, of course, that high percent up to only connects in early percents. That situation, but he could have gone for a possible up air, possibly read the air dodge as well. I could have went for like a full hop mirror. Yeah. Out of that immediately. I mean, it won't be much, but I mean, it'll be something, you know? Yeah. A uh, lot of Lucina and Mart's combos don't really connect much after mid percents. It's usually a little bit different there. Don't have really tilt. much throw combos either. So he's keeping Kiko in the air, just making him question all of his landing options by just. That's where Rich has kind of been getting the punishes lately, is the landing on Kiko Man, honestly. Yeah. He's been there to catch the landings. That's kind of what's been the story for him and Kiko Man. Ooh, the downer. Mixing it up a little bit. There's the upper. Just going to toss him right out. Trying to find a forwarder there. No. Decides to land with the nair. Down, Down tilt. tilt. Not going to find much, but gets Kikaman in the platform. Kikaman now pushing a little bit more advantage here. Me Ooh, gets the forward there. there in the midst of Rich Brown trying to get rid of the Pikmin. 119% here. coming. Ooh. Yep, there's that there's that B reversal um, shield breaker that we've been seeing that he threw out a lot in game one. That's how he broke a lot of his shields. Just went for the B reversal shield breaker. Yep, a couple down tilts, just gonna force him over to the ledge. Another down tilt. That's Rich Brown is just boxed in this corner over here. Just can't seem to find a way. Oop, there's the back air. Just gonna tech it. Forward smash, still not gonna land. Decides to go for the short hop. Oh, oh my goodness! Like he said, the <laughs> gonna... Yeah, this is Kiko is moving. It's platform movement, man. Oh, right. Down tilt, not really gonna do much. Rich Brown able to poke through. 179%. Maybe a quick get grab up throw might actually do it here. Oh, oh and the back a swipe. He will need it. Tying it up 1 1 versus Rich Brown. Wow. Great stuff there from Kiko. Just pushing him into the corner and just keeps holding on to that advantage. Along with his superior um, platform movement. Was able to just get out of certain situations. Uh, 
That's definitely one thing that Red's just gonna have to really think about when it comes to the counter pick deck. Going to Kalos, Pokemon Leaves. I'm sorry, the League. That's one thing you have to realize uh, with counter picks, right? The platform movement that Kikoman was able to have on that stage definitely spelled some trouble for Rich Brown. Of course, with Kalos, the platforms are towards the edge, kind of give you more of a base FD kind of stage, but the rest of the platforms allow for different kind of edge guarding and situations as well, different kind of landings. We'll see how that'll play for Rich Brown now that Kikoman only has platforms at the edge. Yeah, this is actually, this is actually a beautiful counter pick. Yeah. Get from Rich. Exactly, right? Because he goes only... Like, that is his only option. Exactly, right? So he's going to be moving around these platforms there, but the thing is, he's at the corner, so he sacrifices a lot for platform movement there. Being at the corner is not that great, especially yeah. against Olimar. That's, Rich Brown gets a lot more of this. Yeah, it's just like, okay, you're going to hang out over there? I got all this space in the middle. You finally decide to be brave? Here's a Pikmin. Yeah, Attacking exactly. a little bit more damage. Gonna push you back into the corner. Oh my goodness! But it just doesn't really seem to be mattering here for Kiko Man. Kiko Man now in the lead. Shield Breaker still instilling a lot of fear into Rich Brown. Yeah. What's up? Oh, is your thing not turned down? No, glasses. Oh, your glasses. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Something's missing. It's like it's I can't see anything. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> the up tilt though. Able to hit through. There's that forward air, Rich Brown looking for a big play here. How's Kikoman at the corner, like Ooh, we said, and you're only able to get there at the... Oh my goodness, and the forward air just calling out the option here. Rich Brown wheeling back in his seat. Definitely a little bit shook here in this situation. Kikoman making some moves around the platform there, but Rich Brown gets that forward smash. Not going to be much yet. He's looking for opportunity. Gets the side B, pushing Rick back to the corner here. Up tilt oh, into up air. Uh, calling him out again on the landing. Another yeah. forward tilt, pushing him over to the platform. Where are you going to go? And a backer. Kikoman making some aggressive plays against Rich. Not living him. Oh my they didn't have the opportunity to breathe with Olimar. Yeah. Oh, White Pikmin gonna come in. Come in. Oh, oh, the Dolphin Slash and, and the, the up tilt. tilt. Wow, and that gets the kill. Rich Brown once again wheeling in his seat, scratching the back of his head. What in the world is he gonna do? Yeah, he's having a tough time. All of this is Rich's counterpoint, but it's working out more for Hickelman. Having platforms for Hickelman seems to still be working, even though he's at the edge already. Just feels like Rich is not willing to actually. Cause he, cause he knows, right? Like Kikoman's moving around the platforms, right? He kind of wants Rich to come after him, so he could probably sneak in an up air and immediately moving it under the platforms, right? yeah, back, or a back air, things like that. Rich has been kind of keen how Kikoman wants to play with the platform there. See, he's able to hold shield, come down with an up air there, possibly an up tilt, falling upper into up tilt is uh, still kind of a combo here, especially that early percents for Lucina and Marth. It's a lot like uh, it reminds me a lot of oh man, there was a boxer that said this. It's like you have a plan and then you get punched in the face. Oh, and, 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 and it's like, oh, there goes the plan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like R Rich Brown had a plan coming into this, and it's like in his head it worked out pretty well. And then Kiko Man's just like, hey, remember that shield breaker that I got on you? Yeah. That's so like. <laughs> Gonna send Kiko Man a tough angle. Oh, I forgot who said it. I don't think it was Mike Tyson. It must have been a famous boxer. I, it was. I just don't remember who. Shoot, that's, this is gonna bug you for hours. Oh, oh my goodness, again shield. the shield breaker, just all this this all this pressure, and now Rich Brown goes on the offensive. Rich Brown looking for an opportunity at the comeback here. A couple forward areas, not gonna find anything with the purple pigment. Well, bring Kickman back to the corner. Kickman with the B reverse, no shield breaker just yet. It's gonna tack on a little bit more damage as there's the up air. Okay, a couple dash dances, able to get the up tilt, not gonna Ooh. do much, but get rid of the pigment there. Rich Brown now making a play at the corner here. Kikoman in a bit of a trouble here. Gets oh, the, the roll read smash. and the down smash. Kikoman in a tough angle. I don't think he's going to make it. No, no. Oh, made. the yellow Pikmin, dude. That literally extended the, 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 the hitbox. hitbox. Yeah, yeah, so it allowed uh, Kikoman to move just a little bit higher. Ooh, the great pivot grab there. That's the up throw. That's going to do it. And just like that, Rich Brown is starting to bring it back. Yeah. It seems like he finally turned on the jets on the plan that he had. Yeah. He's like, he knows Kiko's going to hang out on the platform. Like, he knows. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to play to his strength and just play in the middle. And just oh, there's the forwarder. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh no. no. So aggressive there, and he paid the price. Oh, oh no. my goodness. And the crowd and breaks, in, <laughs> breaks into a deep, dark sigh. They oh. felt that one. Kikoman had so much going on for him. Game three, but unfortunately, 
being too low paid the price for it. Oh, we need a violin. Yo, man. We need a violin. That's Buster, dude. Oh, Buster, Buster, Buster.